So today I'm going to be installing some fender flares on my Wagoneer. It's a 68. Um, pretty sure that the body lines were all the same no matter what your Wagoneer you got. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but um, on my 68 it works to purchase fender flares from a, like a 90s Jeep Cherokee, um, the XJ body style. Um, here's the rear quarter and it's gonna be right there perfect for right where the door opens up so I'll show you how it's done Got it on it now. All the lines look good. I'm gonna put another screw in here, just a self tapper, just to keep that from flapping. And this gap right here looks pretty great. I had to modify a few of those spots. So there's still a little bit of gap, like right there, and right there. The manufacturer has a little piece of trim that we need to put on. So I'm going to take it back off. Then I'm going to install this guy. Um, it goes along the whole edge so it doesn't rub up against the paint and uh, damage the paint. So I have to take it all back off, install this. It's kind of a pain, but uh, maybe it'll be easy. The heat will kind of lay that flat or not. It'll look pretty good, a little dusty. I need to wash it, but and I'll put a little self tap right here to just stop that from flapping and. Cleaned it up pretty good because that's gonna be exposed when I open the door. This is all gonna be covered when I put the rest of the fender flare on, and then the this fender flare will cover all this. Come down a little bit when it's closed. It'll cover all this when it's closed, but when it's open, it'll all be exposed. Turned out pretty good. Start drilling some holes and locking up this guy. First piece.
finished. some self tappers it actually came with the fender flares and just I'm going to secure underneath the edges in the back the screw here so we're done pretty much it um, probably do a wash tomorrow and on to my next.